Hey there YouTube, uh, this video I wanted to talk to you about Corona Renderer. This is the rendering software that's for YouTube algorithm. Uh, I want to talk about the material library that is built into it and how to access it and use it. And also how to edit those materials for your liking. And this is a great way to actually learn how to use materials if you are new to rendering in 3ds Max. Uh, Corona Render Software is actually a great software for beginners because of this reason. So let's just jump right into it. I have my little scene here. I have a HDRI and we're going to apply some materials to this car using just a material library. So first you want to make sure obviously that you have the render software selected. And up here on the very top row, there's this little Corona tab. If I click on that, you will see material library. So you can go ahead and just pop that open. And right away, you have this whole selection of materials to choose from. Now I saw this seems like really simple, like, hey, why do you need to make a video on this? You know, some people might not know how to do this. And there's a few things in here that might be really helpful, like how to edit them and learn from these materials. So right here, we have all of our stuff. You have hair, basic materials, even like chocolate brown nuts. That's funny, I didn't know that was even in there. But I'm gonna be focusing on car paints and some of the other things in here. And uh, let's say you want to add a paint to this car. Uh, first, let's go ahead and turn our interactive menu on. There we go. So now we can see what is happening uh, as we apply things. And I'm just going to grab the body panels here and I just want to add a simple red. Now you can just drag it over and assign to selection. You can right click it and assign to selected objects which you can see I just did right there and this looks really nice. Right here it already looks really fantastic and I've done render scenes using just these and they come out really nice. You don't need to do a whole lot to these to make them look good. But let's say you want a color that's not in here. Like, what, what if you want a green car? There's no green. So you can go ahead and hit M and open up your material library. And you can actually take one of these, like let's say this simple ruby red, and you can drag it. Oh, let's uh, move this over here. And you can drag this over here. Now this is what I was talking about when I said this is a great way to learn how to create materials, at least basic materials using Corona software. Because when you pull one of these over, now you can see how this is built. You can see that this material, this car paint material is built using the Corona layered material. So we're gonna go ahead and take this one now and we're going to apply this onto our selection, just like you would any other software. So now we have this one applied instead of this one. So let's go ahead and go into this. So we have our base material here and our coat. The coat is like a glossy material that goes on top that gives it uh, that gloss. So we turn that off, you can see the glossiness just goes away. But if we want to change the base material and change the color of our vehicle. So you can see that they have this material plugged into the color slot. If we click on it, this is the color that they have picked out for this material. So we can go in and since, um, let's see, green is not a material on here, we can make this lime green if we want. So we're gonna go, I don't know, somewhere in there. You can see right away, you can you know make this your own color. And that's a great start right there. But if you go into reflections here, you can see how uh, they have this uh, color material here. It is uh, imitating the color right here. So this obviously has an effect on the uh, car as well. So when you're learning how to build a car paint material, you can see how this is all done. Now to go a little bit further, we have like your glossiness here. You can turn this up, make it super glossy. You can turn it down, make it less glossy. So it depends on how clean of a car you want and what you're going for. But we're gonna leave that at 0.5. So you have that and you have your coat here and you can come into your coat and you can see how this is built. And you can see the coat is just diffuse at zero and the reflection and glossiness at one. 
It's that simple. So now, just by doing those small things, you know how to build a basic car paint material for your car. And that's that's awesome. That's really good for beginners, and that's something I wish I would have had when I was first learning how to do 3D Max. But we're going to do um, we're going to do the the red here. Let's see. Let's go ahead and tone that back just a little bit. There we go. So we have our red material on our car. I just think that looks a lot nicer than having that bright green. <laughs> But next we need to do our, our windows. And let's say you don't know how to create glass materials. Like, oh, I've never created a glass material before. So let's grab all of our glass pieces here. And we can come down over to glass. And you have some uh, different options here. You have amber, bronze, there's frosted, which I actually have a video on. Someone asked, hey, how do you build frosted glass in V-Ray? Well, Corona Renderer has it built right in. So it's really cool all these things that you have access to. But for cars, I've actually found that glass thin clear works the best. So let's throw that over here. And right away, so I have my glass here. Let's move this over so we're right next to each other. So this is our basic material. And let's say we want to know how glass is made. So this is what we have. We click over. And right away, you can see how glass is made is by having the one, your reflection is all the way up. If we look over here, reflection is at zero, and the refraction is at zero. Glass is simply just 100 reflection and 100 refraction. So we take this now and we apply this to those windows. We can now see through that car. And that's, that's cool. So, but if we were to take this refraction, and bring it down, it wouldn't be glass no more. If we were to take the reflection and turn it down, it wouldn't have that nice reflections coming off of it. So I'm actually going to hide these and uh, let's just apply a material to the inside. Let's just do this one. Or let's do a, a different color so that way, yeah, let's just do blue. You know, some it's a little bit out there, I know. Let's unhide all. That way we get some more reflections in our window. So now you can see you're starting to get that building in there because you have something to look off. It, this looks really weird, but it's just to get the point across right now. So now if we come back over to our glass material, let's say you want tinted glass. What you can do in the refraction tab, you can take the color here and you can just bring this up and it's going to now tint your windows. Now if you can want, you know, tinted out black limousine windows, you can just put that at black. <laughs> and then there's just no refraction at all. And what refraction is, is the like opacity basically. So we can put that like, I don't know, like an in-between. And now we have these nice tinted windows on our car. So yeah, that's really cool, right? Like there's there's so many things you can do with this. And then you got leather materials. Let's say you want the inside of your car to be like a shiny black leather, you can right click and assign. Now, I this isn't my car and this isn't uh, <laughs> done very well, obviously. This was just uh, downloaded for an example for this video. But you can do stuff like that. So let's say we want to uh, now do our rims. Let's go ahead and ungroup that. Oh, okay, whoever built this, uh, never mind. <laughs> We're not gonna be doing that, I guess. That rim is completely all together. But let's say you did wanna do your rim, you can come over to your metals. So then you have all these different metals you can use and uh, you can apply one of those. So let's say what would be a good one. Uh, nickel, iron, silver. We can go ahead and apply one of these. It's gonna go on top of uh, the tire as well. Oops, looks like I had an auto save going. Um, which one looks most like a rim? Honestly, iron clean looks most like one. I wanna right click on this and assign. Yeah, you got this nice reflective material now. Obviously, you don't want the whole thing to be like that because uh, yeah, the tire here. But let's say we grab parts of this tire. This is not gonna be perfect because this model is obviously not perfect. And we can go to rubber. You have rubber in here, <laughs> and you have dirty rubber. 
you can apply that on there. Voila, now you have tires. And if you wanted to take this even further, once again, you can grab that dirty rubber. That sounds really bad. <laughs> Did not mean for that to come out that way. And you can come in and see how it's built and you can work upon that. So let's say I want this to be darker. I, you know, 10 isn't dark enough. I can bring the sound to like two. Let's go ahead and apply that. And now we have a darker rubber on the tire. So you can see all the different things that you can do to really utilize this Corona material library. And it's a, a great tool and it's a great starting point for doing whatever you're trying to do in 3D. Whether that's cars or you're going to do a house, there's roofing and stuff. You know, there's, there's so many unique opportunities that you can use this for versus with V-Ray, I always had to go to that V-Ray material library website and download materials. Here, I have a big swath of materials that I can already work from that are already created for me. I don't have to download, install them, have issues, whether some don't install. They're all right here and I can build off of these and that is such a great tool. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something and um, I hope you look forward to seeing more videos on the channel. I'm really trying to stick with this time. I'm trying to bring all the knowledge I've learned by going over to uh, the Corona render software and teach you guys how to use that so that way you can create better renders yourself. Because I know I have all these V-Ray materials, but I really think that this render software is kind of the way of the future currently, at least with what I do for realistic renders. Anyways, if you like this video, please hit that like button. It helps me so much. It tells YouTube that you like my content and that you should see more of it. So it'll suggest more videos like this one. If you haven't already subscribed, helps me a ton. Leave a comment what kind of video you want to see. And I, you know me, I always try to reply unless it's something, you know, insane. But I always try to reply to my comments. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Hope to see you in the next video. Take it easy. Stay safe.